Hi guys, Jen here from Maine and Suds and Such and Be Scented. I am making the last holiday cupcake, so I probably I'm gonna have to make all of them all over again. Um because it comes to find out that I didn't make enough for everybody. <laughs> so, anyways. This one I'm going to do peppermint. It's not going to be as complicated as all the others. Um, but this one is going to be scented in peppermint. And I'm going to do like a peppermint candy. So, we shall see how it goes. So, here is that. Let me put my piping bag out of the way. ahead and get the rest of this just away. I have a specific look that I'm going for, so I hope to be able to accomplish that. to be simple but pretty. I hope. And the only reason, um, now that i figured out that I'm going to have to do them all over again, I would have done a double batch of this one and done 30 cupcakes at once, but I am two, two cupcake liners short. Don't ask me where they are, I have no idea, but I am too short of 30. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, let me grab my white. I stuck it down in hot water because I knew that there was some titanium dioxide at the bottom of the container. And hot water helps mix it together and I want the whole base all white the whole thing let's see how that does clean up my mess from spraying everything white and I got a little bit of red and yeah okay my cream to and with my fragrance it's just straight peppermint so it doesn't discolor Beautiful. Uh oh, and I just made a mess. I'm terrible for doing that. Gosh. Whoopsies. straightens out. We'll see. If not, I'll have to get another one. Yeah, he's pretty fixed.
I even got white on my arm. <laughs> I'm going to scrape this back into this bowl and get my piping bag ready. Show you guys how I'm going to do it. Yummy. Now, close this up. Alright, so I've got my piping bag here and the nozzle. I'm going to be using, it's the Wilton 4B. I just think it's really pretty. So, I have my mica and my oil and a little paintbrush that's was dirty not no more um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint the inside of my bag in three spots now way and then I'll refill it I can redraw inside of it so let me grab a cup sorry I'm a little bit out of whack come on I just need one not two. Oh, and I just dropped them all oh whatever okay so this is for when I'm done I can stand it up but so I just made a mess again god y'all I'm terrible today I have extra color obviously and I'll just put it up and use it for later but here's my bag I'm gonna take my paintbrush go down in here and I'm gonna paint and paint a good little strip see you guys see that in there I'm going to do three of them Doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. What's going on there? Right, third one. making a mess and that's okay but sort of like that I've got three areas all colored up so I'll put my piping bag in here to rest because I don't want them to mush together and we'll bring you back when the piping's ready Okay guys, we are back. It's finally ready. It's been like 20 minutes. So I'm actually going to give this a little juzz because it's just a little bit on the, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, looks beady sort of. Just the texture of it. <laughs>
smooth it out. We'll have to see um, if it's too thin. Let me get it in the piping bag. It may, yeah, it is. Doing that stick blend in to smooth that out made it too thin. Okay guys, it has only taken this 45 minutes <laughs> to get to this consistency, but I think we're ready. <sighs> now, I hope we're ready, shall I say. One more scoop and I'll save that. I may end up doing a separate piping bag. I'm not sure because um, I don't want the swirl to be messed up. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm out. Okay. Where is my piping tip? <sighs> my piping tip was like way up in China. Ooh, get out of the way. I'm hoping we're ready. Goodness, at the mess I have made. I don't think we're quite ready. I mean, it's piping okay. That's better. Right now, I'm just going to do a new bag. So I'm gonna pause. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so this time around, I put a coupler on my bag. So 
here. And there's no nothing coming out. Oh! <laughs> the other time it started immediately. We'll do a few little Okay, I got some coming out now. Phew. Well, somebody will have one that's got no red. Goodness, I can't believe I have much, much, that much piping left. Oh well. Alright. Let's get some glitter on there. I'll pipe samples. All right, guys, we'll bring you back for the cutting.
guys, I'm back to unmold these and these have actually sat for two days. So I don't think I am going to be doing much water discounts anymore because I don't like how long it takes to unmold. They're still a little tacky, but you know I can get them out, but they're not coming out as clean as my my normally do. So no more water discounts. Unless I just absolutely have to. You know. But these turned out cute. I think when I do the next batch, I may do part of it, um, like, uh, actually a pinkish reddish color. You know, part of the frosting. And also, these are much softer too because I didn't think when I did the additional water that I was adding even more water when I was adding the titanium dioxide. So, that's partially my fault too. But it's okay. The frosting is what we're always excited to see. I can smooth the bottoms out once they're nice and set. But I'm going to make another batch today. I got because I've got to make um I gotta do all of these twice, so I've got to do another batch not decided on which one I'm going to do, but it shall be one of them today. This is one of my, one of my favorite piping tips. see isn't it so pretty I just really like it all right guys we well, thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next video